and accommodation allowances have not been paid by government. This has made most students idle when they are supposed to be in their lecture rooms learning. We urge government to focus on solving the problems that students and lecturers are facing and not add fresh crisis to already existing problems as nothing is more important to us than upholding peace and tranquility among students and the general public, stating to the fact that we are partners in development. We challenge the government to call for an urgent meeting with all affected stakeholders in order to solve the issues in an amicable and harmonious manner. It is to this effect that Unzasu was, Unzasu is, and Unzasu shall continue to operate without interference as, it, as its constitution states. May God bless the University of Zambia and may God bless the Republic of Zambia. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mr. President, do you have anything more to add to it? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, as a union, when this pandemonium happened around 23.30 on Sunday, mm -hmm. we engaged the state police because we lacked manpower. As a union, we did that. We also engaged the deans of students and the entire management. Mm -hmm. Now we are questioning why should the minister suspend the UNZASU activities? So was she in the right position to suspend all the activities of UNZASU? Uh, as, I have, as I have said, that as a union, we engage the state police to come and help us. Mm -hmm. We are the one who called them to say there is a crisis in the university. Mm -hmm. So from there, you can depict something if the union was wrong. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much, gentlemen. It has been a pleasure having you in the studio. And for more clarifications, we we'll definitely get in touch.